Hey everyone, it's Mason with the Barbell Black Belt. Today, I'm gonna to take you guys through an upper body strength training routine with resistance bands. Now, I've already made a video showcasing a simple full body workout with bands, but in this video, I'm gonna focus just on the upper body. Some of the things that I'm gonna go over include how to warm up with them, train with them by themselves, how to use them to supplement other movements, and how to stretch with them. All of this will be geared towards developing upper body strength. But the same techniques can be modified to work hypertrophy, speed, or other aspects of fitness. The specific resistance bands that I'll be using today come from Fit Beast Sport, like the group trainer that I reviewed a while back. I will post a link to them in the comments and in the description down below. Without further ado, let's get into some band stuff. Come on, come on along. All right, for this warm-up routine, we're gonna focus on the shoulders. With any type of heavy upper body work, the shoulders are gonna be highly involved. In order to maintain good technique, they must be warmed up accordingly. Beginning with my favorite band exercise, pick a band that provides a light to moderate amount of resistance for you. These work the rear delts and prime the shoulders for good posture during your workout. Another common shoulder movement. I like these because they really help open up the chest, again priming the shoulders for good posture during exercise. After struggling with shoulder issues myself, I find this exercise fantastic for warming up. Doing external rotations like this can prevent impingements that can occur if you are doing a high volume of pressing movements, especially overhead. This is an exercise that not only targets shoulder posture and stability, but spinal mobility as well. You can also add in a twisting motion to them for spinal rotation. Make sure to use a controlled motion when performing these.
For the back, rows and lat pulldowns can be utilized by wrapping your band around a stable object. Here, I am using my power rack. You can also do rows without a rack by stepping on the band as I am doing here. For the chest and shoulders, different variations of presses can be done by manipulating the band around your body. For some extra supplementary work, I am doing lateral raises and peck flies. For the arms, many different types of curls can be used. Get creative and try different things to see what you like the most. Tricep extensions can be used by wrapping the band around your power rack, or by stepping on the band and doing them overhead. For the abs, Standing band crunches can be used to target the rectus abdominis, while variations of pal-off presses and holds can target the obliques.
Here are a couple of stretches that I like to use post-workout to ensure good recovery and mobility. To use bands to assist yourself in pull-ups, simply loop the band around a stable object above you. And loop your knee through the band, as I am doing here. This will allow some of your body weight to be transferred to the band, making it easier for you to do pull-ups. So, that is quite a bit of information, but I hope that this can be useful for those of you who want to use resistance bands in your training. With that, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions for me, leave them in the comments down below. That's all I have for you today, and I'll see you next time.